Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. And if you today from Shaq Reacts, woman ruins her relationship in 30 seconds after she says this. Please subscribe them below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that child. Child Time. I told you to get on birth control. I was just supportive of you getting on birth you control. You wanted me to get on birth control, and it okay. changed my whole. Like, now I'm just not attracted to you anymore. Hey, what's going on, guys? Shaq Reacts here once again. And today's some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. And like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end. But in this first one, it is pretty insane. This woman needs this much money on the first day. I'm going bad. Not spending money. She now, I'm not sure who's ever gonna date this, and she'll probably Stop. stay single the rest of her life. That man's reaction was 100% accurate. I'm gonna start telling men that I have like five kids now from different dads because y'all don't know when to leave women alone. I say I have a boyfriend, I don't care, like, what are they keep following me to my car? I have a husband, I don't care, they keep following me to my car. I'm a lesbian, they get mad, or the girl. Uh, I call cap on this one or they don't believe me i put my little lesbian voice on and they don't believe me is that so i'm just gonna be like yeah like i'm gonna flirt back and be like okay yeah but just so you know like what is up with this is this like <laughs> like who's <laughs> is this all one eyebrow drawn or did she do the the bangs to make it look like this because the way this looks right here just looks so ridiculous <laughs> no i have five kids is that okay yeah they're gonna be like oh oh okay oh, five yeah it was kids? just the hair did they live with you that <laughs> yeah like sometimes their dads take them on the weekend sometimes but like they're with me all the time um yeah, five kids, five different dads, baby dads. They're gonna go away like this, watch. I swear, I'm, I'm gonna try that next. Now, the crazy part about this clip is it's actually gonna work. She's not wrong. Men don't care if you're dating someone, if you have a husband, but if they know you got five baby daddies and kids, they do not want to be part of that financial responsibility. 20 female, time my first lady, please. Hello. What the fuck is you looking over there for? Ah, uh, you're gonna start. You can, I'm gonna start over. Maybe, maybe you need me to come back. Hello, Sean. Who the fuck is this? Hi, Jay Sean. I'm the first. I'm telling you, man. Don't give them attention. You know, fucking just hold your frame. Fucking ignore them. It turns them freaking insane. <laughs> Girl, come in and shit like that. My name is Zoe. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Who else? Good game. No. No? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Baby, let me just, just, you're How masculine is this you? woman. She reminds me of, uh, freaking Will Smith's character in Bad Boys. <laughs> you Indian? I need you to give me some more, like, because I'm a lot. I need you to give me some action because, hey, Jay, you look, hey, that was real. Oh, why are you looking over there and I'm right here? I'm my fault, bro. She. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just, I don't like that you're looking over there and I'm right I, I, here. Just came on to be too aggressive. Something you probably not used to. You know what I mean? So probably not used to. Now, initially about this clip, I really thought he was just faded and definitely thought he was on something. And to be honest, he probably still is. But the real reason he wasn't really talking is just because he doesn't like her. She is way too loud and super aggressive. I don't know why girls feel like they need to act like that. Hey, yo. Uh, I thought he was high. So, question of the day. I was thinking while I was in the shower. Um, so would you date an OF girl? Nah. And why or why not? I mean, what is dating nowadays? Like, take her out on dinners or just smash her here and there? Like, what is dates? Because I'm sure plenty of guys will smash her here and there. <laughs> But the taking you out in public, especially if you're a major content creator, a major OF girl where everybody knows you, men are coming up to you for your autograph while you're out in public with her. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Absolutely not. I'm not sure why she even has to ask this question. This is ridiculous. Would you rather date a guy who had a promiscuous past or was a virgin? I would say promiscuous. It's always good to have like experience. I value that. How much experience are we talking here though? Are we talking about account? Realistically. 
Um, I don't know, like, personally, it's like 15, so around that, like 10, 15, even like 3, I don't know. Wait, you're saying your body count's 15? Yeah. So I would, I would And you're hold? 21. You, you, that, that's why I don't mind, like, a, a guy who's, like, promiscuous. But why do you think most women are afraid to share their body count? Because they're being slut shamed all the time. And I, I fucking hate that. It's the worst. The increase in STDs, the increase in single mothers, and the divorce rate is getting higher. These are all reasons why having a high body count is never a good thing. You can call me a sim, <laughs> whatever you want, but look at that woman. Yes, I'm winning. Simp, no simp. Oh. People love cheering on passport bros, but to be honest, guys, you guys can get finessed so easily once she comes to this country and has so much more options in front of her. I agree. When you bring him to this country, it's not even the options in front of her. It's just how the sisterhood works. They're constantly talking to each other, constantly pushing each other to leave their own relationships. Why? Because they, they hate each other's relationships. Longest you've ever made old guy wait to sleep with you? I can't say for sure. I'm so old school. I'm What's the longest? Two, three months. That's a that's good time. That's, that's, that's prehistoric old school. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and then what's the quickest? Has been a one night. That's my type right there. 24 Naps. hours is not that bad. Remember guys, she'll always make the nice guy wait while she'll give it up instantly to the bad boy. Keep that in mind when a girl has a high body count. Eric. What are you done? Oh, that's a hundred. No. That's a no, hundred and five pairs of shoes, Leslie. So? This gentleman. Who needs a hundred and five pairs of shoes? I do. A hundred and five freaking pairs of shoes. I have four pairs of shoes. Okay, what do you About what I have. Now you gotta put it all up. Start do you need this many pairs yes. of shoes? Yes. That's you need this many yes. pairs of shoes? Yes. This is unreal. This doesn't even include the garage and the laundry. Okay. So? Clean them up. No, you pick, you pick them up. Now, to be honest, if she's working and it's her money, there is absolutely nothing wrong with how she wants to spend her money on shoes or whatever. But if he's the main breadwinner and this is all coming from- No, like that's the thing. Even if she made her own money, as a leader of the household, as someone seeing, you know, you spend money, why would you be okay with someone spending on frivolous things like that? I would not like that if my partner, even if she made her own money, was just spending money and never saving. That's stupid. From his pockets? Yes, I would be very upset as well. If you are single, you need to have minimum five, not less. Because if you have only one, when you have Swiss him cheeky cheeky, you what? become to be addiction of him. Five, five, five. I will teach you. Stop the cap. Now this is the advice women are giving to other women. Pretty much how to stay a permanent side chick. Mess around with multiple men at the same time. What is going on? Okay, okay. Is this what she thinks that she looks like that on TV? Is this what's going on with this? Because. Yeah. It looks like a walrus. <laughs> Do you guys see the mud on the floor? The camera recording and how she's dressed? This is completely disgusting. You guys can have your celebrity crushes, but this has just gone too far and I would have gotten a huge divorce. Um, uh, another question. Where's the guest at? Are they in the room? Oh, oh. oh. oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna... I'm not sure how this even happened. If you're ever having a hard day, just remember, I've been cheated on. I've been cheated on. I don't have the beauty filter on and these are my real eyes and I've been cheated on. If you've been cheated on and you feel insecure, it's never about you. Because I've been cheated on. Surely it can't be about me. You might be thinking, well, maybe her personality sucks. No, unfortunately not. You know what? She's not wrong. Sometimes it ain't. It's just cheaters are cheap. I'm hilarious. And incredibly oh, smart. Cat. Now, before you guys can say that she has a huge ego and she's full of herself, I do agree with a lot of the stuff she's saying. If you get cheated on, it's not because it's you or how you look or the kind of person you are. I'm going to town, you know, so I just trying to like meet new friends. How you be a good friend of her? Yeah. You know? Yeah, but... You got to go, huh? Yeah, I got to go. Oh, wow. I get your Instagram real quick before you leave? Take two seconds. I can't get it? I mean, what you need my Instagram for? I mean, so I can get to know you a little bit more. 
you know? Why? What you mean, why? You seem like pretty cool, though. And like I, I said, I, and like I said, I was moving to town, trying to make some new friends. That's it. You don't got to lie to kick it, brother. Maybe next time. Jeez, Maybe next time. Come on, we in Houston. It's big out here. I might not even see you next time. I know, but... Why are you acting like that, though? I mean, it's just... Oh, that's car respect. Have a nice day, then, all right? You too. All right. I guess. Oh, these freaking car... <laughs> Gold digger pranks. Wait, hello. Excuse me. What's up, man? Hey. What's up? Hi. You said your name was Nair? Yeah, why, what's up? Yeah, my name is Candace. Oh, well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Have a nice day, though. Wait, wait, where are you going? I might handle some business. Uh, what business you got to handle? I mean, why? It's, it's, it don't even matter, to be honest with you, right? You got, you got, you got to go, right? I mean, the car is a, it's only like a fifty, sixty thousand dollar $60,000 car, and it impresses women. That's the thing about women, right? They don't even know which cars are expensive cars. My friend has a GTR, and most women don't even know what a GTR is. <laughs> Um, I did, but... Now, this may be a skit. It may not be, but whatever. The point is, if a girl's only into you for what you drive, for what you wear, how much money you have, avoid her at all costs. She's only gonna be an expense in your life, and she'll never be in love with you. She's just in love with your lifestyle and your money. Get you paid, get Girl. fucked. It's great. <laughs> you don't get tired, though. How often do you rest your body? When do you take breaks? Um, so I do try to take a break. Like, so I'll try to, like... Usually I do trips as in, like, a week, and I'll try to work almost every day of the week. Um, and then I'll just take a break for like two weeks, usually. Like, wait, you work one week and then you break, you took two weeks break? What the fuck? I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna take a break for three weeks, actually, almost three wait, weeks, what? and then go to Vegas. I'm not sure why these men be inviting OnlyFans chicks on their podcast. Like, there's gonna be some kind of valuable information they're gonna give about their life and just life advice. Like, we really don't need to know about this. She told me to get on birth control, so this is not my fault. Okay, I didn't tell you to get on birth control. I was just supportive of you getting on birth you control. You wanted me to get on birth control, and it okay. changed my whole... Like, now I'm just not attracted to you anymore, because, like, it's science. <laughs> it literally changes your physiological, like, science. Okay. Our relationship is perfect. I just need more femininity. Okay. And you're you're too toxic masculine. What I do that. That's fuck is going on? This is like, if you literally took all the talking points and this is all you could say was straight up talking points and buzzwords, this is that. Toxic you or masculine. You literally can't cry. And, oh. you, and you go to the gym, like, a lot. Like, okay, have you been seeing someone? I don't know why you're doing this. Just why answer the you... question. I, yeah, I saw someone. Go now. Wait, but, uh... No, I'm gonna go. Chucky, come on. Let's go. No. So this woman is trying to use her emotions and her hormones to validate her reason for cheating. Imagine if a man did the exact same thing. A man's emotions and hormones can be absolutely insane. And if a woman does not buy him at any time, he can use the exact same excuse. But guess what? We don't. This excuse is absolutely stupid. And this guy had every single right to walk out. But that does wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Shoutouts to Shaq Reacts. Yeah, men are expected to keep our hormones in check and our urges. Come on, ladies. I thought you were as good or better than men. Why can't you keep your hormones and urges in check? Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Good guys. Thanks for Ciao.